All right, so we are here again with Joaquin DeSoto Jr. He had a very busy day. Um, we did uh, a scale open. <laughs> we did. He wasn't sandbagging, bro. He was up in third at some point. I mean, if listen, if you're sandbagging and you end up in third, that's a. Uh, I mean, hey, listen. I, I would like to borrow some of those sandbags because I think I need them. So, yeah. So, um, you know. The A-Scale Worlds are coming up in 2017, right? So um, everybody's talking about it. Um, you really, this was a world, literally a world-class field. Jesse, Day, I mean, this has been his first time at, at uh, Kissimmee. Brand new Infinity car. Um, you know, uh, uh, you know, Pico, Alberto Pico is not exactly... Uh, you know, what you would call run-of-the-mill local competition, you know, Lamberto Colari, nine-time world champion, again, not exactly what you would call local, Paolo Morganti, I mean, you race with him all the time, but again, not exactly what you would call, you know, uh, you know Mike Swagger, uh, look, these names are, they are, you know, mainstay staples in the front end of A-scale racing, and uh, today, you know, you drove brilliantly i mean there was a couple of, of small issues but let's talk about that a little bit because you know the a scale worlds are coming up there's going to be a lot of guys here from the states going you know i'm sure they want to know that their serpent is competitive so 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 help help me with that help help the folks out in um you know youtube land to understand what's happening yeah, absolutely so um kind of as you alluded to is a super intense main with top tier talent um honestly it's probably one of the more intense races i've ever been a part of um and you know we were able to hold our own. Um, the, the the Serpent chassis we just came out with the Evo 2 is, is really really good. Um, I have full confidence that we'll be very competitive at the Worlds next year with it. Um, I run a Pico motor uh, again. Uh, obviously uh, Pico took the took the win, and um, we were running strong kind of all weekend. So have the utmost confidence that we'll be there and uh, you know be able to really compete next year at the Worlds. And this was probably just a preview, honestly, of the level of competition that the, the, there will be um, there next year. And uh, it, it's it, it was an intense main. Um, the start, everyone it took a little a few minutes for everyone to kind of space out. But then you know the the 10 minutes following that was just in an impressive pace being set and being followed it was it was truly impressive it's funny but we were here in the pits and we were watching the times and you were setting qualifying times lap after lap with large uh uh main size tires even with the tire change you had to go out with slightly larger tires and people were setting qualifying lap after qualifying lap after qualifying lap it's almost like watching rossberg and hamilton vying for you know fast lap uh fa consecutive fast lap you know best lap whatever it is the trifecta uh it was it was intense yeah, no, it, it really was. It was, you know, the first couple of minutes, it was everyone was trying to figure out exactly what they had and make sure they didn't tip over. Um, I know for sure myself, it took me a couple of minutes to really figure figure out exactly where to push, where I couldn't push because, you know, the car would get a little tippy. But after that, it was, um, it, you lay it all on the line. It was, it was just about going as fast as possible. So Because because the thing was, if it wasn't game on, you were last. No, if it wasn't game on, you were quickly being passed. So it was, uh, that's where the pace the pace was was high you know and it's funny because uh you know we were watching some of the times and folks were getting passed um you know by a couple of cars every lap um you know and in yeah i mean i i i can cannot really tell you what it's like to feel that kind of pressure to go fast but um but you can because you were just in it so and i know you mentioned it once or twice but you know help the folks out in, in youtube land understand that you know, this is like Le Mans with, you know, Porsche and Toyota breathing. Your Audi and Porsche and Toyota are right behind you, you know, on a Moose Lane straight. No, it's the, the, at one point I was running between two cars and we must have been separated by half a second at the max. And we ran for literally like a whole fuel stint, basically just like that and the pace it was so close between a few cars that we were basically able to just run 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 and it, no one was really gaining on on on, on either person so the, the pressure is intense some parts of this track are insanely scary at those speeds and but you know you just had to do the best you could and just put your forward, best foot forward so that's what we
Well, I tell you what, congratulations, um, <laughs> number one. And number two, man, I, I, I'm, I'm envious and proud at the same time um, because, you know, I've watched you and we've, we've videotaped you for now probably about four or five years. You went to, went away to college, came back, like, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's been a while since we've been watching you grow and, and mature in the sport. And, uh, you know, to say that you are, you know, literally on pace with legends, um, in the industry and the sport, uh, is, is an accomplishment, right? So you, you should be proud, not only that, but, you know, again, you know, um, I really look forward to, to doing this interview at the Worlds and talking with you about how things are going, uh, you know, with the Serpent Car and things like that at the Worlds. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thanks.